I've been in government for 25 years. I have never seen anything like this. First at 11, this one is tough to believe. An investigation tonight into a possible illegal medical lab. It was operating out of an abandoned warehouse in Reedley. Inside, mice bioengineered to incubate the COVID-19 virus. The lab was discovered near I and 9th streets. 30 refrigerators and freezers, some broken, were found filled with bodily fluids. Health officials tell us they are shocked at the biological house of horror. CBS 47's Juanita Adame live in studio with the shocking details tonight. Well, Brian, this story is so complicated. There are local, state, and federal agencies all involved. Now, what prompted this investigation was a simple garden hose that was illegally attached and coming out of the back of a building. It was back in April inside this abandoned warehouse in Reedley that a discovery so shocking was made that it left local health officials stunned. This is a, a truly unusual situation. I've been in government for 25 years. I've never seen anything like this. I've never have seen this in my 26 year career with the county of Fresno. What was supposed to be an empty building used only for storage was home to an unauthorized lab testing facility, something no one had even conceived of. We um, reach out to our local public health directors throughout the state, um, California, and there's really nobody has really expressed this type type of interaction with a unlicensed lab. So it is something new. The discovery was made after a local code enforcement officer noticed this garden hose poking out a back wall of the building. Frankly, uh, we knew that that shouldn't be there. And when she went to go investigate, she found that there was activity or operation or something happening within that building. The city then obtained several search warrants to enter the building. Once inside, no staff was located, but there was a special room that was built housing about a thousand mice, a thousand white lab mice. And the reason the mice were in the lab was jaw dropping through their statements um, that they were doing some um, some testing on laboratory mice there that would help them support uh, developing the COVID test kits that they had on site. Documents show the lab was also being used to produce pregnancy tests. 200 of the nearly 1000 mice were already dead. According to court documents, all the rodents were being caged in, quote, inhumane conditions. Also found thousands of vials, many of which contained biohazards, materials including human blood, unidentified tissue, and other unknown substances. A lot of these are being classified under unknown chemicals. Labels had been removed from bottles, so there was only certain testing we could do to those chemicals. According to court documents, experts determined that at least 20 potentially infectious, viral, bacterial, and parasitic agents were being stored inadequately, including E. coli, malaria, and even in COVID. The city of Reedley immediately called in the CDC, the FBI, the California Department of Public Health, and the Fresno County Department of Public Health. I think because of that swift action that, that was taken, we really have been able to maintain public safety this entire time. Over the course of several weeks, investigators figured out just what they were up against. And as of now, there are no more biologicals, there are no more mice, but they still will see us abating, um, you know, there's 30 freezers and fridges, there's medical equipment, there's all sorts of furniture in there. And so they'll still see some activity nothing hazardous at this point. Prado said the owners operated under the name Prestige Biotech and so far they aren't saying much. Some of our other federal and state partners still have active investigations going so I really can speak more to the building side of it. Now again, Reedley City officials emphasize that the lab had no city approval to operate and was supposed to be vacant. Investigators are working to figure out what to do next. Live here in the studio, Juanita Adamas, CBS 47 Eyewitness News. Mita, what a wild story. And for continuing coverage, of course, stay with Eyewitness News right here on TV and online at yourcentralvalley.com.